Hi guys, how are you going? Hope you're good. Um, just doing some more recordings. I'm going to make another video about grooming a papillon. Uh, this will be a little bit different from my first video because I used shampoo on the dog. But this one, I'm actually going to dilute the shampoo into the basin and do a diluted shampoo rinse with the dog and also a diluted conditioner rinse with the dog as well. So it can be a little bit faster doing it diluted and you also use less shampoo, which is also really cool. All right, so let's kick it off. Okay, so I've got nothing fancy. I've got a laundry sink. Um, I've also got some... Uh, stuff uh, for the dog to stand on. Just from the cheap shop. Also helps make them feel a bit more secure in the tub. Uh, I've got a just a normal laundry sink. I've got a towel ready. And I've got my hair dryer ready to go. So... I've got nothing fancy, just normal everyday things to help wash my dogs. And I'm washing Maverick again today because he stinks. He is the stinkiest dog. And he's right here. So I'm going to give him a quick brush, get rid of some knots before I start washing him. I'm going to fill up the sink with lukewarm water. Not too warm. My uh, boy dogs don't really like water too hot and I will get started and wash him. Okay, so I've just finished brushing Maverick. He had quite a few knots behind his ears. Uh, when I was brushing, I was doing really light, gentle brushes, no hard tugging. And then I actually use my fingertips and I pull the knot out and I just sort of pull it apart. Um, I know Maverick's hair just seems to work really well like that. And I can kind of just pull, gently pull out the knots and everything. So it's really good. Um, so I've filled up my sink, lukewarm water. Now this, I'm using Fraser Essentials at the moment. Um, my friend gave me a little bit to try. I like it. So this is something that you can dilute. Uh, not sure how much. I can, I'm going to just drop it in the water and just mix it up with my hands. That's plenty. This has like a peppermint sort of smell. Um, not everyone will like this kind of smell. I don't mind it. Uh, I know some people don't like the natural sort of essence smells and they might not like it. But you can do it for other shampoos that you use like Posh Puppy, Chris Simpson. Uh, any others that can say you can dilute it. So you can just put it in the water, slightly agitate it with your hands, and then you pretty much just pour it over your dog into its coat. You don't have to lather it all up. Uh, it just, yeah, it just wets the hair, lightly shampoos it, and it's a lot faster as well. This is taking a little bit long just because I'm recording, but usually this will only take me three, four minutes of shampooing my dog. And then I can just go on to the conditioning and refilling the sink. You do have to use a bit more water, but yeah, don't worry about that. But you can see it's slightly agitated and yeah, it smells nice. It smells like peppermint. Let's go.
Okay, so I've just finished shampooing Maverick. I did end up doing a bit of shampoo uh, on his groin area and on his back end because he had a few little poopy bits on there and his undercarriage was really dirty and yellow because he's a boy and he pees on himself and makes himself very yellow. This just been watered down purple shampoo, good for white coated dogs. So I'm now going to fill up the sink. I'm going to do some squirts of conditioner, agitate it with my hands, and then I'm just going to pour it over Maverick's coat. I will put a little bit of extra conditioner in his ears, his tail, his undercarriage, and his chest with my hand, um, just because that tends to get quite dry and he's dumping a bit of coat at the moment and it's very likely to get tangled when I'm going to blow dry him and dry him with the towel so I'll just give him a bit of extra all right Okay, I've finished washing, shampooing and conditioning Maverick. I uh, rinsed it out with the tap water afterwards as well. Uh, it's always good to rinse out your conditioner, otherwise it gets really greasy. So I'm going to give him a brush now. Uh, I'm going to do some sprays in his coat just because it helps me dry it and he is dropping coat at the moment and all the moisture will help him. I found my better brush. I was using a slicker brush before. I love this brush. It's my favourite. Let's get going. Okay, okay. All right, so I'm all finished grooming Maverick. He's all nice and dry. I had to pay extra attention to behind the ears here that um, they often stay quite damp. So it's always good to make sure that you dry it really well. Um, yeah, breast of him dried quite nicely. And now he is nice and clean, so that probably took me about oh, an hour in total. A little bit longer with the blow drying today. Like I said, he is losing a lot of coat at the moment. Uh, he did have some knots, especially in his chest. Not so much in his pants. His pants were really good. So there was a couple of clumps just starting, but they hadn't knotted up yet and got entangled and they came out quite easy and uh, yeah so that's another way that you can wash your dogs is just diluting it and tipping the water over your dog you still get the same you know you, you still get the same quality it can be a bit faster uh, if your dog is a bit more dirty and you know they've got bit of stuff in their coat it's probably good to just do a little a little bit and spot clean that bit and do a bit of bit of rubbing but yeah apart from that that's another way that you can shampoo and condition your dog so i might try to do another video a bit later about feet trimming as well all right thank you